Hey guys, welcome to the sixth video of my series on introduction to NumPy. And in this video, we're going to talk about the NumPy array operations. So there are a lot of built-in arithmetic functions which we can apply over NumPy arrays. So NumPy is actually a very vast library which contains a multitude of operations. But in this video, we're going to take a brief look of all of them and try to explore them a bit. So let us start with the first type of operations, which is element wise operations. So let us try to understand it with a very simple example. So let's say I have got an array like this. Um, if I just try to write a double R, I get this. So it is a two dimensional array containing two rows and three columns. So now element wise operations mean that if I try to add a single element to my given array, what should happen? So actually that particular element is operated over each element of your array. So basically when I am doing one, two, three, four, five, six is my array and I'm saying add one to my array. What I mean is that add one to each element of my array. So I'm getting two, three, four and five, six, seven. So this is the basic understanding behind element wise operations. So let's say if, if I tell you to square each element of your NumPy array, then all you have to do is you have to just do something like this array double and asterisk two and you will get the squared elements. And if I just want to save the changes that you made to your array, you can do something like this, right? So array equal to array plus one will save the new array. And a shorthand for doing the same is array plus equal to one. So in this way, now your array contains um, each element is incremented by one, right? So this is the basics of the element wise operations, which we can op do over our NumPy arrays. So now let us come to the second category of operations, which is unary operations. So as you must be already knowing that a unary operation is basically an operation which requires single operand. So here, um, obviously that single operand is actually your NumPy array. So if you want to do any kind of operations over your NumPy array, then what are those unary operations? So those unary operations are like try to find the sum of your NumPy array or what is the minimum element in your NumPy array. So these are kind of operations which do not require a second operand. So that's why we call them unary operators. So now if my array is something like this and I try to say array dot sum, then what do I get? I get 27 which is simply the sum of all the elements in my list but now you might be thinking that what if I want to find the row wise sum of my um, array so in what do you do in that case all you have to do is you have to pass a axis parameter so if I just say x is equal to 0 look at that what happens x is equal to 0 will make the sum column wise so in each column what is the total sum of the values so 2 plus 5 is 7 3 plus 6 is 9, 4 plus 7 is 11, so I get something like this. So if you want um, row wise sum, you will have to do x is equal to 1 and you will get 9 and 18. So the first row uh, sums up to 9, second row sums up to 18. So this is um, array sum. Similarly, we have something called array min and max function. So if I do array dot min, I will get the overall minimum. If I just say x is equal to 0, I will get the minimum elements along the columns. So the first in the first column, the minimum element is two. In the second column, minimum element is three. In the last column, minimum element is four. So in this way, this works, right? So these are some unary operators here. So now let us move on to the third type, which is binary operators. So binary operators are the operators which work over two operands. And here I am saying that both operands are NumPy arrays. So basically, if you have a equal to np dot array, which contains, let's say one, two, and it contains three comma four. So it is a and b is equal to np dot array. b is equal to np dot array which contains 5 comma 6 and 7 comma 8 so these are two arrays which have the same shape then in that case if i do a plus b then what should happen the rule says that if both the arrays have the same shape then again we do element wise operation which means that 1 will be added to 5 2 will be added to 6 3 will be added to 7 4 will be added to 8 so if i just try to find a plus b i get this right 
so this is basic binary operations now let us move on to the next part which is universal functions so universal functions are the functions which are provided by the numpy library itself like um, np.sign what would it do np.sign function takes any numpy array and converts each element of that array to its sign value so these are called universal functions so let me just try to give you an example um, let's say I have array this is my array right now so if I just say np.sin arr then let us see what happens look at that each element got converted to its sign value so this is a universal function which takes any numpy array and it will convert it to its sign value similarly we have np dot um, exp which is exponent so and np dot exp awr will convert each element to its um, exponential value which means e raised to power 2 e raised to power 3 and so on so in this way um, the universal functions work so these were all the um, basic and the most important operations which are um, available in numpy array for your assistance and yeah so this was a brief introduction to them and i hope the concepts are clear if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching